Yep, we are finally going to do it. It's by far the most requested video on my channel and probably the only requested video on my channel actually. And the steering wheel is back. We've got it right in front of us here and this time we're going to actually do it properly. So when I recorded the first video all that time ago, I didn't really expect it to do well. My channel was still very small and it's probably one of the worst quality videos on my channel. There's very little to no editing and my camera quality was terrible and it's not that much better now, but it's a, li a little bit better. So today we're going to complete our placement matches in Rocket League using the steering wheel and then we'll see where we end up at the end. And then at once we get to the end of the video, we will show you what is definitely the most requested part of the last one, which is how to set up your wheel to play Rocket League. And this one was a little bit different to how I did it previously because back then I had a different wheel so it was actually a lot easier the last time but I've managed to get another different way of doing it this time so we'll include that at the end of the video so stay tuned for that and hopefully you enjoy it. So I think what I'll do is I'll queue competitive threes because that way I've got two teammates to bail me out of my troubles. It's fine, we'll just behave like we do in my beginner's guide video, we'll just stay out of trouble. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's so hard to steer because there's so much input lag. Okay, this might be a go for us. It's not for us, but it's for somebody. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, no, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> really good play. Oh. Yeah, he's going to take that, okay. Let's get a demo. Oh, I missed him. Um, how do I reverse again? Hey, we did something. <gasps> he's done it! He's got himself a goal! Oh no, I'm on kickoff. Why did I just drive into it? I <laughs> should have scored that. Can we get this rebound? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, we cannot. But first game off to a good win. Let's see if we can improve upon that in the next one. Okay, so game two, we have now maxed up our sensitivity. That looks a lot more responsive already. Okay, this might be too responsive. I might have to turn down that sensitivity again. Oh no. This is dangerous. I need to get used to this sensitivity. How are we 3-0 up already? Oh no, I got bumped by a teammate. See, this is why you don't go for anything in, in the lower ranks. I really need to remap my controls because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't power slide. I need to change my power slide binding to my other sort of flappy paddle. <gasps> Look at that ball! Put it in! No! That would have been an assist! Oh! We got a little tail bump. He got demoed. Well, that was eventful. So here we are in game four, and if you're wondering where game three was, it's because we encountered a smurf, and rather than give the smurf any kind of publicity whatsoever, because um, they were freestyling all over the place and it was just rubbish, so rather than actually show that off, I decided that better off just omit them completely from the video. Oh, look at that, look at that goal. We've done it again! Oh, can we get something good here? <gasps> we hit an aerial! I haven't figured out my air roll binds yet. <gasps> no! Yep. That was my bad. Completely. I wonder what rank this is. I'm thinking it might be about silver one. So if you're wondering how I'm flipping during this, I have arrow keys on my wheel and I've bounded them to up and down. 
because otherwise there's not really any way of flipping. Because as you know, you can't push your wheel forward <laughs> like you can an analog stick. I think in my previous one, I used the paddles for that. Because I had a lot less buttons on my old one. And that made things a little bit more difficult. I'm just going to get out of the way because we're winning this. Okay, so let's find out if anybody in that lobby was ranked. Silver 1, Silver 2. Yeah, that's kind of where I expected. So I wonder if we'll be able to make it into gold at all. Oh, so already I'm seeing an uptick in pace again, so... Let's get a demo. Yes, we got a demo. First demo. Let my opponents do what they do and miss. Oh, look at that dunk. It's really awkward. Ah, oh no. We tried to make the clearance, but wasn't able to. My teammates trying to kill me. Did I bump my teammate there? Yep. Yeah. What a save. I might have to just turn down the sensitivity a bit again. Because this is a little bit challenging. What a save! This is so confusing. When, you're, when you've got 4,000 hours of controller play and then you try this, it's... It's so weird. Oh no, 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 no! I thought I was gonna go. Okay, my team's voting to forfeit. Let's go. That one didn't go so well. We're now in game six. We've got our teammate again from the last game. That was a bit risky. I didn't like going in for that one there. I should just do what I was planning on doing and just Waiting back here, but then I've just messed up. Ooh. I keep forgetting to like break. Ah. Just come back here. That's not safe. My days. How can I be this bad? This is bad. I need to figure out air roll or otherwise I'm never going to be able to recover. Uh oh. Yeah, that was going to happen. Alright, so I think this is now game 8 because we unfortunately encountered another smurf. In fact, this one was actually deranking, so we actually won the game by default because the person was own goaling the whole time, which was a big waste of time. So. Yeah, like, like the previous one, we're not going to actually show footage from that game because it's just a waste of time. We had one smurf that caused us to lose and then one smurf that caused us to win, so <laughs> at least it's kind of balanced out now. Oh no. Teammate pushed up. I shouldn't have gone. I should have expected my teammate to push up there. Got another demo. Yeah, I'm slowly but surely starting to get the hang of these controls and steering and everything. Still not great, but I think I'm doing better than I was when we started this. <laughs> I was going to try the ceiling shot, but that would have just been a disaster. No, I could have done something there. Ugh. So I think this is now game nine. Go on, Queen Destiny, you can do it, I believe. <laughs> Stole the goal. <laughs> oh, it's dangerous. Look at that. I'm a pro defender with this with this wheel. We've done it again! We've done it again! Two goals in one game. Can we get a hat trick? That's how we do it. 
<laughs> we half flipped. Guys, we just half flipped and then our teammate scored. If that's not a sign, then I don't know what is. Oh, and now they've all left. That's the win. So here we are, game 10. Let's see if we can win our final game and see what rank we get at the end. Hmm. Teammates decided to not join us. The teammate who was AFK moved at the most perfectly wrong moment <laughs> to score the own goal. Score! Uh, no! Our, our other teammate is now AFK. Oh, they're back! I am certainly getting more confident with these controls. I'm still terrible, but I'm getting more confident, as you can see when I'm like diving in for things. Which is probably more dangerous than useful, really. Oh, that's a good clear. Could be... Dangerous. That was my fault. Oh no. How do I... I really need to learn air roll. That's what I need to do. If I can learn air roll, then I'm going to be much better. They voted to forfeit. Nah. One minute left. We can get three goals. No bother. I have 74 points. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we forfeited that last one because we were 4 no down. My teammates didn't want to play, so. Let's find out what rank we got on the steering wheel. Goal 2! I'll take that! Goal 2! I did not expect to be goal 2 after all those games, that's for sure. That was some pretty terrible performance. And if that's goal 2, and I can somewhat compete? I can't compete, let's be honest. I'm a gold 1. This is not really the rank I am. I think I can, might be able to cope in about gold 1. And now we get to the part that you've all been waiting for, the part where we actually set up your wheel. And you'll see on screen here that we've got the Xbox 360 controller emulator. I'll put a link to this in the description where you can find it, but it's basically this website up at the top bar here. And once you've actually downloaded this software, as you can see, I've got all my buttons and everything mapped in here already. So this isn't really accurate, but if we go to controller two, we can probably do this as standard. So this is what it would look like once you first open it. And all you have to do is click add, go to your Logitech G Hub, G920 driving force racing wheel, which is the wheel I've got. Yours might be different if you've got like a G29 or something. But then you just add the selected device and that pulls it in. So once you've added the device in, you'll see all these different uh, mappings. And basically you just select whichever one you want by clicking on the button. So say you wanted to set your A button, click the A button and it starts flash red. And then you just press A button on your wheel. If you've got one, whatever button you want to select. So that'll be your jump button. The one that you really need to pay attention to is this stick axis X, which is this left stick. And before you do anything with that, you need to go to your G hub settings and then go to along to your wheel and stick this operating range all the way down to like somewhere between 180 and 250, depending on your uh, preference. I've put the sensitivity up to 100 as well. I don't know if that really makes a difference. Also make sure you click that lock button because that will lock the profile. Um, I don't know if that's 100% necessary, but some games tend to like reset your um, re reset your wheels functions, so you might need that. But once you've done that, all you need to do for your wheel is click in this box, go to record, and then you can see that the little arrow flashes to the right. So then you turn your wheel to the right, as far as it as far as you want to go, and then bring it back to the center, and that registers your input there. And that's pretty much it. What, all the other buttons, you can just map to whatever your own preference is. Like I say, it, it depends on the wheel you've got and it depends on what you've got your buttons mapped to in-game. But that's basically the general setup. I will link a more comprehensive tutorial for this software in the description below, which is what I use to actually set it up. So you can use that if you get stuck. But that's that. And that was 
pretty successful, I think. Goal two after my placement games, I'm not going to complain at that. And uh, yeah, I had a blast. I had a lot of fun recording this, I had a lot of fun doing it. I think I'm going to continue with the wheel. I'll probably do a few streams over on my Twitch channel, which I also may start streaming on YouTube soon. So if you do fancy joining those, links in the description below. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, bye.